Hey y'all, good morning and welcome back to Southwest Victory Gardens. My name is Brandon and on this channel we talk all about backyard gardening and desert climates. So thanks for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and continue our series today on drip irrigation by talking about a very specialized type of irrigation tubing called dripper line. Um, we have soaker hoses, dripper line, drip tape. Um, all of them essentially accomplish the same task of trying to get a lot of water uh, over a large surface area at the same time, right? So uh, in the last video, we talked about how to hook up emitters to polytube and run spaghetti line off of those emitters. So we went into some really uh, uh, some detail on how to attach the emitters and how to run the line off of them, right? Um, but you know this this type of setup here works really well in your landscape, right? If you're if you're running one line over to you know a Texas Ranger or something like that to an individual plant, you know this works really well. But if you have you know a larger surface area that you want to water, let's say you have a flower bed, a raised bed vegetable garden, you know, in ground garden, and you want to water you know more of the surface area without having to run individual emitters over to every single plant um, you know you're going to want to use uh, more of a specialized tubing to get that uh, uh, done right so for that application right we're going to recommend the dripper line so dripper line is essentially you know a quarter inch uh, micro tube that spreads water over a large surface area so you can run these lines you know across your vegetable garden bed and every six inches there's an emitter and so everywhere there's an emitter it's going to put water out and then you can water uh, you know all of the the vegetable garden without missing any spots okay and so this is going to work really well at growing you know really dense you can grow using the square foot method uh, you can use intensive planting techniques grow things really close together uh, and fill up all of the uh, vegetable garden surface area and, and no space is wasted so it's the most effective efficient way to water your vegetable gardens and your raised beds, okay? So what I want to do is go into a little bit more detail on each of these individual, uh, you know, products that we have here. We're going to talk about drip tape, we're going to talk about soaker hoses, and we're going to talk about dripper line. And all of them are a little bit different, even though they sort of do the same thing, um, they, they work better in different applications. So I'm going to go over these in, in individual detail, and then you can decide, you know, what application would work best for you and which product, you know, would work best for you and how you want to use it okay so let's go over these in just a little bit more detail and then we'll come back and wrap everything up afterwards all right so let's check these out all right y'all here we go let's go ahead and check out these products in just a little bit more detail all right first up is soaker hose okay soaker hose is a specialty irrigation product um, that's not necessarily designed for a drip irrigation system. So this actual hose here you can see connects to a hose bib uh, or just a regular you know garden hose and it doesn't need any kind of um, you know pressure regulation. So you can just hook this up to city water pressure and how it works is you have a basically a permeable um, you know rubber plastic here. You can see that texture Water just uh, uh, seeps through this. It permeates through it, uh, and it and it basically soaks the ground underneath it. So it it doesn't even drip out. It just base it just uh, soaks right through this uh, this per, uh, permeable tubing and waters anything that's basically under the tubing. So you could wrap this around a tree. You could snake it through your yard, something like that. Uh, and anywhere that's underneath this hose is going to get moisture, right? So not necessarily a drip irrigation product, but it can be used like drip irrigation, basically meaning that you can water you know uh, very very slowly over a long period of time so it acts sort of like a drip irrigation now here we have basically a quarter inch uh, spaghetti tubing with a six inch spacing uh, of a soaker hose so you can see here it's this uh, soaker hose now unlike the permeable plastic tubing that we have here the soaker hose if you look has these tiny little um, uh, laser cut holes in it all along it spaced every six inches now these little laser cut holes let water soak through the hose and again just like this one here wherever you know it, the hose is it's going to get just a little bit of water uh, coming out of the hose now the problem with these two um, uh, products uh, soaker hoses in general 
is that they tend to clog up very quickly, especially when you're working with any kind of hard water. So in Tucson, you know, we use 30% cap water, which is pretty hard. And in Phoenix, it's like 100% cap water. So uh, in, in Phoenix, you definitely are gonna run into problems with these getting over calcified very quickly. Uh, here in Tucson, it, it may take, you know, one or two seasons, but over time, these products tend to just get way too clogged with calcium and you gotta replace them. You just basically gotta switch them out and they, they just won't drip anymore, okay? So I'm gonna recommend soaker hoses that you avoid soaker hoses, okay? Very limited applications for them. They don't work very well, they're not efficient and they clog up, okay? So now as an alternative, we have this product right here. Now it looks similar to soaker hose in that it's got, you know, it's a quarter inch, it's a spaghetti tube, but instead of having that laser cut emitter, it's got a nice inline emitter. So you can see these big bumps in the tube right there. That is an emitter and that puts out a half gallon of water per hour. It's the same as this one, a half gallon of water per hour, but instead of that laser cut right there, it's got nice big fat emitters. Now these big fat emitters, they don't clog up as fast and they drip really nice. Uh, and so because of that, you can use this, you know, line in your vegetable garden beds and it'll last you many, many years uh, before, before it clogs up. Uh, and if you're running a nice filter uh, and everything like that, uh, and if you run any kind of advanced filtration, then you'll never probably need to replace these, right? But they'll last you many, many years, and they essentially uh, perform in the same way. So if you look, every six inches, you have one emitter, right? So you can stretch this line, you know, all the way across your vegetable garden bed, and anywhere that there's an emitter is gonna drip water down, okay? So this is really the most efficient way uh, to you know, water a, a raised bed vegetable garden or an in-ground vegetable garden. But also, if you notice how it, it likes to curve, you can use different types of connectors to, to keep it curved like that, and you can use it instead to water uh, round containers, whiskey barrels, five gallon buckets, you know, anything that you're growing in containers can also be watered really well with, with dripper line as you see here. So this is the product that, that I'm gonna recommend that you use more than any other. It's the one I use more than any other. It's the most uh, versatile, it's the most flexible, it's the longest lasting. Um, and so for you know many reasons, this is the one dripper line with six inch spacing is gonna be the main product that you're gonna use for your vegetable garden and drip irrigation. So you can get this black irrigation dripper line, which is the, I like the black more than the brown. I've just noted the, noticed that the brown doesn't last as long as the black. Uh, you get brown usually at Home Depot and black at specialty uh, irrigation retailers. So Sprinkler World on Fort Lowell and Stone, you can get the black, uh, you know, Tempo or Dig, that, those are the two brands, Dig or Tempo. And one roll, a 100 foot roll like you see here will run you about 13 bucks. So this is the main product that you're going to want to use. Now, one more type of drip uh, uh, irrigation kind of dripper line uh, is, is what you're going to see here. Now, you'll notice that instead of having the quarter inch, we now have some half inch uh, uh, line that you could work with. Um, now there's some, spe these are basically very specialty uh, applications, specialty products for applications uh, that are more large scale. Okay, so this you can see here is a half inch poly and it's got, it also has an inline emitter, you know, just like the inline emitter here, except this one's obviously it's bigger, it's on a half inch. Um, now the other difference is you can see we got one here and the next is not until there, all right? So that's, uh, that's two feet between that emitter and that emitter. Okay, so that is just, that's just like way too far between plants. If you're gonna be, let's say you have 100 acres of broccoli and you're gonna be, you know, moving your tractor through, you're planting your broccoli, you know, two feet apart, you can definitely run with something like that, like that half inch poly back there. It'll definitely work for that. But otherwise, there's really not any applications in, in backyard vegetable gardening where you're gonna need something uh, as, as heavy duty or as far apart uh, as this here. So you don't even need that. You're, it's just, we'll never even uh, run into that. Now, drip tape, on the other hand, you probably might run into because you'll see this in community gardens, you'll see it in backyards even, even though it's, 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 it's more suited to larger scale applications, it works well in, in smaller applications sometimes as well. So now you can see drip tape, uh, it's flat, it's, it's more like a tape, it's not a tube necessarily, it is round but you can flatten it, it's really flexible. And then along the bottom of the tape you can see 
there. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm getting this all messed up. You can see here that, that where the tape comes together, that's where the water soaks out of this hose. So very slowly, the water soaks out all along the length of the line. Um, now, with drip tape, the main advantage to drip tape over dripper line is that with dripper line, you can only run this about 18 feet. If you run it any more than 18 feet, you're gonna lose water pressure at the end of the line. With dripper tape, or drip tape, excuse me, you can run basically as long as you need, you know, 100 feet, 200 feet, um, as long as you have um, enough water pressure coming from the start of the, uh, the line, you're gonna have enough pressure through the whole tape because it's a, lot, uh, it's a lot more water that can move through a half inch pipe than can move through a quarter inch. So drip tape is gonna work much better if you're watering large, you know, uh, you know, things like uh, urban farms or, or community gardens, things like that. This, this might be a little bit more efficient. Now you'll notice here I have this connector in the middle. If you work with drip tape for any length of time, you're going to want to buy stock in these things right here because drip tape is notorious for ripping and tearing. It's very uh, uh, fragile. <laughs> it, it likes to just uh, puncture and develop leaks all along the lines. So, you know, in any given season, you'll be fixing leaks, you know, multiple times throughout the year, uh, and you're going to need to repair them using this type of connector here. Now, you can get fewer leaks and avoid leaks, uh, as many leaks, as if you get thicker tape now when you order drip tape it comes with different like millimeter thicknesses or different mill thicknesses get the thickest mill that you can find uh and then that's going to make it so that you don't have to like keep uh fixing it you know because this stuff you know you'll spend hours and hours just trying to find leaks and fixing them and it gets to be a pain in the ass right because it's just um, you know, it's just really, really fragile stuff. It, it's not strong at all. Um, so definitely um, keep that in mind if you're going to be using drip tape. All right. So there you have it. You know, we have our soaker hose products. Uh, we have our dripper line products, which are definitely going to be the best uh, for backyard gardens, you know, vegetable gardens, flower beds, you know, so many applications for this. And in the next video, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways uh, that we can install this. Um, but, you know, for now, you know, this is just kind of getting you familiar with the basics of it. And then, of course, you know, we have the drip tape lastly. So, all right. So those are different specialty drip hoses that you might come across. You know, I'm going to strongly recommend you stick with dripper line. That's the that's the brown stuff right there uh, or the black stuff. Uh, the black stuff is uh, more available at specialty irrigation shops. The brown stuff you can usually find at Home Depot and it works okay. All right, let's go ahead and finish this up. All right, y'all, welcome back. Okay, so hopefully that clears everything up for you. It makes a little bit more sense now. You know, dripper line, soaker hose, drip tape. You know, each of these uh, products basically accomplishes the same uh, uh, task. It, it, it gets water over a large surface area. You know, the main difference is, is some of them last a little bit longer and some of them can be used, you know, for, for larger urban farms and things like that. So, uh, you know, figure out what your application is, you know, what you need it for, and then you can decide, you know, which of these is going to work best for you. You know, probably, you know, 95% of the time for most people, this dripper line is going to be, you know, the go-to line. But, you know, you never know. You might find that dripper tape or soaker hose works a little bit better for you. So, you know, uh, you know, just decide on, on what works best and stick with it. That's what I always tell, tell folks. So, um, okay. So now what I want to do is I want to now go into the garden and I want to show you how we can take the last three videos that we did and apply those in the garden, right? So we're going to take the timer and the filter and the regulator. We're going to set all that up. We're going to run uh, some poly line off of that. And then we're going to show you how to use the dripper line to uh, hook up so you can water not just your raised bed vegetable garden, but I'm going to also show you how you can use this to water container gardens, right? So if you're watering in whiskey barrels, five gallon buckets, you know, 55 gallon buckets, whatever, you can use the dripper line to water uh, round, you know, uh, containers as well as long, you know, raised beds or, or in ground gardens right so it's a really versatile line and in the next set of videos I'm going to show you how we can apply all of the uh, things we've talked about in the last three videos so I want you to check those out and of course if you have questions on these uh, individual products here uh, or anything at all about drip irrigation just let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to get to those as best as I can all right y'all so take care and we'll see you in the next video bye